Here we have a pressure trace. We have the arterial blood pressure on channel 1, and we've calculated DPDT on channel 2, systolic on channel 3, diastolic on channel 4, mean on channel 5, and the heart rate on channel 6. Now this is a big screen, so everything's displayed nicely, but on a laptop, or if you had more channels, your view might be compromised. Another scenario might be, we want to do a one minute trend. Now to do that, we can move some channels out of the way. And with that, I now have my mean and my heart rate exposed. I've got to change my display time. Change our display time to 60 seconds. And now we're displaying a one minute trend. Another option may be I just want to show some pressures. So again, I'll readjust some of these channels. So now I have my mean, my systolic, and my diastolic. This time I'll make it 10 seconds. Now all this is pretty cumbersome, so let's do views. First of all, I'm gonna reset my channel sizes. Go back to five seconds. And now we're back where we began. So now going up to the views menu, you can see we have our default view, which we're looking at. So let's edit that view. On the left side here, these are the available channels we can take the information from, and these are the ones displayed which we have right now. The right side here, we leave for another video. Since this is our default, let's set our display time to five seconds, so we always come back to that. With that done, let's make a new view. And we'll use this for our one minute trend. Hit OK. We will change our time to 60 seconds. And the channels that we want in this are the heart rate, we add that, as well as the mean. OK, that one's done. Now for our other view, make a new view. Just call this pressures. Hit OK. This one we're going to make 10 seconds. And we'll add our systolic, our diastolic, as well as our mean. Now you can also move these up and down if you want to adjust them. We hit OK. Now when I go up to the view, I can switch to either of those. Let's go to the one minute trend. There you have it. We'll go to our pressures. And these are even available while you're recording. So we'll start the recording. We will switch over to our one minute trend. And then finally, back to our default view. And that's how to customize views in LabScribe.